Hey guys, my name is Chris Brumley with River City Flooring, and we're here today in Owl Creek, Louisville, Kentucky, adding new hardwood to an existing home. The house was built in 1989, and they had white oak floors put in, and the reason we know it's white oak is because we did a species test. Before we came over here, and while we did the estimate, once the customer said, hey, we wanna run with you guys, River City, we want you to do the work, we came out and did a species test because we wanna make sure we would deliver the right wood. We also have our crews do it here at the job site just to do a double check system to make sure that we're not going to put in a red oak floor on a white oak floor that's already been installed. So it's pretty expensive when you put in the wrong species and have to tear it all out again. So the first thing we do, we actually take a piece of the existing floor. You can see it's already been sanded and stained. We take that out and we do a species test on the back side. We're going to scrape off some wood, put it in a little uh, dish and put some chemicals on it to see to make sure that it's the same species because the last thing you want to do is put a the wrong color of wood in the floor and you'll know immediately when you start sanding. So right now we're going to do that species test. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take uh, just a razor blade or a scraper. You can actually use sandpaper and I'm just going to get some really small dust off of this because the smaller the particles, the easier the test uh, is more accurate, I think. So I'm just going to get a nice little pile of shavings dust shavings are too big i mean we, we like to get like almost like dust it gives you more surface area uh, to do a test to do a proper test so this is the existing floor doesn't take a whole lot to do a species test and now i'm going to take some off the new wood that we delivered uh, to the house it looks the same on the back side that's big because red oak is very pink and your white oak has a brown uh, kind of almost a green uh, color in the natural wood, of course, before you stain it. We always tell customers if you want a red color floor stain, then you should go with red oak. If you want more of a nice brown, you should go with the white oak. So that, that's, a, let me get just a little bit more. Now, of course, the wood that's in the house now is 30 years older just because the house was built 30 years ago. So there we go, there's, there's some shavings. So Woodwise is a company that makes a species test. White oak has a species, or has an enzyme in it that red oak doesn't have. So we have a part A and a part B, and you wanna put equal parts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put part A on both of these. Usually three or four drops is plenty. So now I'm gonna kinda of mix it up a little bit to make sure I get it all saturated. Now you can see the, the older wood turns brown pretty quick. The newer wood almost looks red. Some people think this is actually red oak when this happens, but so, so this is the old and this is the new. You can see a difference in the color, but now we gotta put part B. Part B is what tells us uh, if this red oak or white oak. So I'm gonna use the same amount of uh, solution on both sides, about, about three drops. Come on, oops, that's about three. And uh, so what happens, if it's white oak, it will turn black. If it's red oak, it's not gonna change color, it's gonna stay kind of a red color. So it takes a couple minutes for this to happen and uh, you can you know you can hurry it up a little bit but it usually takes about three three to four minutes and then you know uh, decisively pretty much that it's going to be a red or a white but a lot of people look at this right now and it looks like this is going to be red oak for as a new floor and it's not it's going to turn black yeah so i don't know before they came out with this test i don't know how they tested it i guess they had to really take a lot of pieces out of the floor and look at it and uh, one guy told me he could smell the difference of the hardwood. I don't know about that guy. One guy said that he could actually taste the difference, and I, I'm not gonna go out and taste in uh, hardwood floors. But uh, anyhow, so we'll let that set, and uh, we'll show you the difference here in just a little bit. Now we got our results back. Of course, uh, the one on the left was the existing hardwood floors, and this is the new floors we brought to the job site. Uh, the, one on the left is a little different in color, but they're both dark. Whenever we see anything turns black like this, uh, we know there's a white oak enzyme uh, in the wood, so we know we got a perfect match. So the big thing, you really can't tell the difference between the age of the wood once it's sanded 
because that stain will actually blend the new and the old together. So our goal here at River City Flooring is to make sure you can't tell that that floor has been added. And if we do everything right from the beginning and do the best practices, then the customer is very happy and you can't tell the difference between old and new. Oh,